So here's a short video on how to set up QuickBooks to monitor your CIS uh, invoices and systems if you are a subcontractor. So you need to go to the cog here for your settings and over to account settings and then into advanced and here you will see the CIS option it's turned off at the moment if you turn this on then you can't turn it off again but that's um, no great disadvantage um, so we can safely come here and turn this system on it will ask for your UTR which is your tax reference number Oops. <clears throat> and um, if you are a contractor it will ask for your references here um, but we are doing this as a subcontractor so we can say save here and it will ask us at this point if you're a subcontractor and we'll say yes you are choose your rate which for most people will be 20 percent and then say save So that's the system turned on. What it's done in the background is it's created some special services which you will use when you come to create your sales invoice. And it's also turned on some special boxes in the customer area. So let's go to the customer area and let's create a new customer. Um, <coughs> Build Co. And you'll see here that we now have is CIS contractor. And if that's correct, we will tick this box here. And we will say save. Obviously, you will fill in the rest of the details. So now let's create a sales invoice to Build Co, who is the contractor. And straight away, QuickBooks has looked at the customer, seen that they are a contractor and is now offering you these new products and services. So it's important that you choose the correct service. So on this one here, we've got labor only. Um, so we all put in our labor rate and our VAT rate. So on this particular one, it's standard rated. Um, you might supply materials, in which case you can drop down and look for CIS materials. And pop in your materials there, and again they will be 20%. Oops. So we'll select those. <clears throat> um, so what this has done is it has worked out the CIS that should be deducted from this invoice by the customer. And that's 20% of the labour only amount there. So it's important that you use these products here with CIS on them to get the system to work properly. Let's just have a look at how that invoice actually looks yeah we find about the classes we don't need to fill those in on this demonstration and there's what it looks like for the customer what QuickBooks has done in the background is it will record your gross sale um, correctly and it will also put this six pounds to a CIS tax account so that um, you or your accountant uh, actually knows that you are owed that CIS back by the revenue and it will keep a log of that for you. So the important things to recap really are when you set up your contractor customer you make sure you put that tick in the CIS box and you then when you create your sales invoices, 
you use those special CIS um, service uh, codes. Right, that is it.